Hey, 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 what is going on, <clears throat> everyone? <sighs> Happy Monday. <laughs> okay, we, uh, I don't know, I know some of you guys have seen the <clears throat> S866 controller saga, right? And um, I, I, there's somebody on the one of those videos, man, I got a shout out because he was on point. In mentioning that so there's two there's two places where the throttle can plug in it's one is like full throttle and the other is power assist I think so it is going to be uh, where is that plug it is this one okay so originally I had the throttle plugged into this one why because um, it plugged right in and the wires matched up and I figured, okay, black, red, blue, uh, black, red, green, that was what it needed, right? Wrong. It plugged into that one if you had like a, pow, a pe uh, pedal assist situation going on. For e-scooters, okay, so this is what I want, this is what I want to uh, document for you guys. So if you're going to use the S866 brain power controller, LCD setup and all that, okay? You have got to use this one right here, the black, white, and red plug, okay? And um, based on the throttle that you get, you're more than likely are gonna have to, number one, change, change it, okay? Because I had to change it from a male, from a male plug, if you see the little, things right there, I had to clip those off. You're gonna have to change it from a male to a female, the receiving clip, which is one of these right here, right? So you're gonna have to switch it to this. Wait, wait, which, which side is, wait, there it goes, like this, right? Uh, let me get a good, there you go, right? So that it plugs into God damn it, dude. Let me, I think it's just because of the way the light is. Okay, so that it plugs into this right here. And you got to match it up. Black, green, red, black, white, red. Okay, so I had to rewire this and plug it into this. And when I did that, here's what we got. We're going to turn this on. I'm working with one hand here, so... And I have it on uh, level three. I'm on the throttle and you see it spinning and it's spinning all the way up to 20 miles an hour. Son of a bitch. Okay, so. See there? That's me on the throttle, dude. S866 controller, brain, uh, display with the brain power controller, right? This is how you wire it up for an e-scooter, for an e-scooter. So you got to set it to throttle only, right? Set it to throttle only. And then uh, non-zero start, that's what I have it set at. So what you got to do is you got to push, you got to push to get it going, right? There's three uh, speed modes. Okay, I think this one goes to 15. Let's see. Yeah, 14, 15 on or about. And then if you go to one, I think it's like 12. Let's see. Oh, no, that's lower than that. It's like seven or eight miles an hour. Okay. All right. So once again, what you got to do for an e-scooter setup on the brain power controller with the S866 and shout out to the dude who suggested that I switch this around, right? I saw a comment. I think he left it last week, man. I'm going to go and go back to that video and big him up because, um, yeah, this is it right here. You got to run it. Your throttle has to go into the non-pedal assist plug, which is this one, the black, white, and red one, and not the black red and blue one which 
it makes sense that you would plug it into that one because the colors match up, the connectors, ma everything matches up, right? However, that is for pedal assist, and I think the basic setup on a lot of this stuff, especially with the throttle, is that you're going to use this for an e-bike, okay? Like, like that's kind of maybe like the assumption. So if you're going to use it for something else, then you're going to have to, once again, clip this stuff off. You got to take it apart, clip this stuff off. And then you're going to have to wire it up to where black, white goes to green, and then red goes to red. But you're going to have to change it to one of these plugs right here. And when you change it to one of these inside, you're going to use the, the female receiving uh, ports. Okay. These are the male pins right here. Sorry about that. These are the male pins. That's on this. And this is an SMT connector set right so these are pretty cool to have if you've got to do some custom rewiring i have a cnx uh kit over there as well um because you know sometimes like with razor stuff let's take for example um and where is that box oh it's right here here it is okay so that's the cnx kit and that's when you're going to be dealing with this stuff okay like these type of connectors, that's these right there. And when, and I, you know, I have to put links to all this shit so you guys have this stuff. And then if you're going to be using this type of stuff right here, SMTs and all that, that's going to be, or SM, right? Or JST SM. That, I'm sorry. Let me get it right. JST SM. You're going to be using, you're going to get one of these kits right here. You can get both of these on Amazon for maybe like 12 bucks. Yeah, it's maybe like $12 or something like that, right? Um, now, with that being said, uh, and I'll do another video just to finalize all this because here's what has to happen next. I'm going to have to do something similar with the brake, okay? Because on the brake, this is the brake cable right here, right? So, again, this is set up, this controller is largely set up for an e-bike. You can use it for an e-scooter. Okay. Notice that there's two plugs here, right? That's for a, uh, a front brake and a rear brake. But see, if you're only going to plug up one, you, you know, on this scooter, obviously, you're, you're just a rear. But if you'll notice, oh, wait, let me, let me turn this off first. I am so geeked right now. All right. So I'm going to plug this in. Or I'm going to attempt to because I'm working with one. Kind of with one hand here, but here we go. Right there. Okay. So if you'll notice, I have it plugged in. Black does not match up to black. And red does not match up to white. All right. So again, what's going to have to happen here is I'm going to have to depin this and swap the wires around. So that black matches up to black and then red matches up to white. That way it'll do the proper motor cut when you engage the brake. Okay, so the la and then <clears throat> what I'll need to do also is this right here. I'm going to have to clip this and then rewire this so that I can get brake lights. And then I'm going to tap into the headlight up there so that I can activate the headlight through the uh, through the, the, uh, the dash display. Okay, and then that way. You could put a new controller and everything into, um, well, with this right here, this is a, a Razer S1. It's actually, the production name is a Razer EXR. Uh, these are discontinued. So this right here is, if you have a Razer uh, S1, one of these old rental scooters or what have you, to get it working because they no longer make the EXR controllers, I'm using the brain power controller with the S866 dash and I'm going to go over this whole thing again when I get everything else wired up, okay? I just needed to get this documented. I got this motherfucker to work. Yes. All right. So that is really what we needed right there. And um yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So we're going to be doing more custom builds. Are coming okay more custom builds are coming 
All right, big shout out, um, and I'm gonna leave a go. I'm gonna go back to the other video. Leave a comment, man, shouting him out because he mentioned this. He said maybe what you need to do is use the other throttle uh, plug because one is a pedal assist and the other one is is just direct. And I just messed around. I just decided screw it. I'm gonna rewire this thing up and see what we got. And man, that thing kicked on, badass. Okay, you guys. Have a good rest of your Monday. Peace out.